We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliza Fegg to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. So, what do we have here? Presets. Okay. Um, let's see which one do I like the most, or which one do I look like slash want to look like in the game. Okay, so this one. No. No, no, no. I think I'll just. Yeah, this one. I think this one looks the best. best and most suited so yeah, stick with that one let me just have another glance just in case okay a fish shape That was a delayed reaction. I was like, why is it not changing color? No glasses. Okay, hairstyle. No way. Either this one or this one. Yeah, I'm sticking with this one. Okay, complexion. Oh, 
Okay, freckles and moles. Okay, that's none, yeah? Yeah, what none? Scars markings. Is it a werewolf one? No. There's that one. I kind of want to have a scar. So which one should I go for? That one seems fine. And this one, uh, not on the nose. This one seems fine. Eye color. Stick with the eye color, eyebrow color. I want a bit more darker. Let's see. No, that's not dark, that's grey. Wait, let me go to the end. See, nope, I don't want purple eyebrows. Give me back down here. No, back to grey. I'm gonna stick with those shape. Some of these are really funny. Oh no, no. I want eyebrows. <laughs> Look like Bob. Which Bob is it? One of the bobs, Iger or Chipek, looks like one of the bobs, no eyebrows. <laughs> Let's stick with that one. Okay, voice one. A few cobwebs and some dust, nothing to be concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. No, no, no way. Nope, that's not my voice. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe huh. I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Wait, why does it sound like a robot? A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing <laughs> to be concerned about. Said robotic. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Sounds like I'm just tired. That was quite something. Okay. I'm gonna go with hard. I may regret this during the gameplay. We'll see, but I'm going with hard mode. So... I'm not a witch, I'm a wizard. Now naming the character. I know this does not make sense, 
this is set way before Harry Potter but I'm gonna name the character Harry's son's name just pretend this is set after Harry Potter or we could just imagine and pretend that his son was sent back in time to live in this time or something okay so that's that done before I continue I would just like to look at the hairstyles again I thought I missed one so let's see um This one, yeah, is this uh, these two that I missed out on? So hard, wizard, voice one, middle, character name, Albus Severus Potter. So that's the character. I'm going to mute myself during cutscenes. So let's get started. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins 
Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. It's Wiganweld Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay, so that was interesting. I, pronoun I pronounced that professor's name wrong. So, heal. What happened? George, I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I eat them and chatted to bring people to a tutorial, more like. <laughs> look around, walk around a bit. I don't think there's any collectibles here. Not this soon. I'm not sure if there are collectibles.
We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Good jump. I could roll. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oh, the castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. <clears throat> but sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! Use your camera R to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick. But the sibling camera relative targeting and settings by the sibling camera relative targeting and settings. Okay, hold it. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Cool. Your Did one works attack. improving with every cast. Attack Thank some you, sir. pots. It's just ahead. Steady yourself. Repero. Sorry, 
just have to pause it for a second. Okay. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. The mini map shows your surroundings with your arrow in the middle, this yellow arrow downwards is your current objective, press and hold up to toggle quest objective details. Professor Fig and I have travelled via Port Key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the Port Key was meant to lead us to. Yeah. Hide that. Uh... Any more chests here? Right way. Let me just press square here. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Get another paw. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. I'll comment more on the story as it moves along further. Right now I'm just exploring and getting used to it. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Gringotts. I think this is Gringotts. Hello? Can't 
Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> no way over here. <laughs> to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. To you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Great Gods? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. So I was right about that being Gringotts. Also, the character we're playing as, clearly he's got some sort of special ability see some maybe the ancient magic but some kind of magics that other people can't
What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand with L and Gaida along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding end point when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the spell's uh, symbol's path. something move a bit closer and try again okay let's try again door. well that's a start there's that symbol again i don't suppose you see a way to I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Not <laughs> hard to go to the glow. <laughs> All right. He has to go there first. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. After entering the vault, we quickly realized that it was empty. I saw a glowing symbol on the head to that reflection door. you're seeing. The same symbol from the port key container. When we tried to open the door, we suddenly found ourselves transported to a vast exp vast expanse of darkness. We believe we're still in green gods, but this is certainly no Try casting ordinary Revelio, vault. perhaps. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. T basically turning around. 
Okay. Study of one of the L and get a long symbols path to learn the spell, press the corresponding input when prompted to observe your one's motion along the symbols path. Same as the other spells. So, you know, Oh yeah, I sorry, I've forgotten to guide with L. You acquired the one lightning, one lightning charm, Lumus, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Uh, Lumus creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Okay. Hold R2 and tap, uh, tap triangle to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It turn it. does follow the light. Turn it like the map, Glad the Gladriel had to turn it. <laughs> and there's Mordor. Some enemies. <coughs> Sorry. Reveal your objects to reveal the way forward. So I've got a protect from three incoming attacks. That's one. That's two. Where's the third one going to be from? Come on, come on, come on. That's that done. Professor! Professor Fig! Luke, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Soon. Line up. There we go. <coughs> the same for you. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Yes, I know I'm doing that.
perhaps in Lumos. So I have to do all three at one time? It seems okay. I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. I thought I have to do them one by one. That guy was fast. Objectives to reveal the way forward. I think I used to these controls. Can I heal? Yep. Hold triangle during Protego to start enemies with a stupefy, stupefy, counter attack, start enemies, take extra damage, educated by gold numbers. Okay, attack me, attack me. Pay attention to those leaping attacks. Now I don't have any health left. Hard mode. <laughs> okay. Ready. Let's see. Stop.
Okay, let's try and get this time. Just the R2 something doesn't just respond well. Flying the same one. Go oh, see that guy. Yes, got it. Combat's kind of weird in this. Oh yeah, luminous. Not luminous, luminous. Look around, see if there's some chests or something. Yes, there's one here. Gotta look around before going to the center. Hello! Are you there? Oops. Professor Fig! Yes, Godric's heart, I'm glad you're alright. I'm somehow back in the entry room to the vault. I don't see a way to open the door. There must be something. I'll keep looking over here. Uh, there you 
you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Here we go, time for the house. Choosing choice. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Not a day. Have an idea what house I want to be in. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. 
a certain sense of... Mm, what is it? I think I'm gonna go with curiosity just because I'm curious to explore this game that's why I packed the uh, Hogwarts instead of classes because classes are uh, could be good but I just want to explore fly in the broomstick explore Hogwarts and all that a desire curiosity I do enjoy a good puzzle and I believe I have a ready mind mm. you're clever indeed you have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Mm, no, no Ravenclaw. The sorting hive will take your choice into account and sorting in you into your house. Ravenclaw has known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Nope. Gryffindor has known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. Hufflepuff has known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Ravenclaw has known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Slytherin has known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power, yes. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. I'm going with Slytherin. Except, I accept Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room.
So, I'm in Slytherin. Let's see what's around here. Some fruit. I could only eat one? Okay. Oh wait, the prompt is back. Let's see another apple. Let's just have one more apple before leaving. Okay, three apples. I'm gonna look in this chest. Oh. Can't. More apples. I think if you have low health, when you just eat apple here, your health goes up, but obviously I have full health right now. Let's go into this room. More the same of Leah. Go to every room and eat one apple. At least three. <laughs> I think all rooms are the same there. So I'm just going to go into the common room. I suppose some introductions are in order. Tradition in my family to play a game of Quidditch on the moors during holidays must be different. My entire family starting home in the half of it here, except for me. There's uh, some nuts. There's only. Oh. Did you see the window? So there's three people to talk to. No. What's this? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Uh, might want to think that again. Let's see who I can annoy you with spinning this. Oh, she's talking to the people playing chess. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Oh, wait, she is talking to the people who's playing chess. How is she <laughs> talking to me for spending that thing? Let's talk to Sp Sebastian. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. I'm gonna go with it was terrifying. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Let's see what this guy was reading. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Mm. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Avada Kedavra. I may have met a kindred spirit. 
<laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Okay. Obviously the curses. My brother just started a whole world as a griffin. But for the to be slender, cunning as he is. Everyone can go for three minutes at once. Where can I <laughs> Can I cast spells? Uh, let me see first. Just in case you can kill someone. So empty slot, saving, done. Let's see. Oh, they dodged? Alright. <laughs> it's funny if they just drop dead. These guys must have some sort of defensive system that they're not even dodging. Wait, this guy and this guy are the exact same people right here. Yeah, they're the exact same. Two sets of twins in Slytherin? Twins over there. I just walk through. Let's see if I can walk through this guy. There's a piano here. So, let's go up the stairs. Some more fruit. Is that all Slytherin has is apples and nuts? More apples! Let's spend this globe. No, I can't spend this one. <coughs> Oh wait, they got more food here. Pastries. Seems that's off limits to me. Interesting. I suppose I'm not allowed up there. Probably I unlock I this later. Oh, it's like the first years or something. This is just where I started. I think, yeah. This is where I started. Oh, my mother makes the most delicious Alahotsi fudge every Christmas. I can barely fit into my school. I can't go up there. I suppose I'm not allowed up there. Man, sliding stairs. Let's talk to her. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, 
Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Um, I don't know you really well, so I'm not gonna say I wish you were there. Just because you said you're really good at a broom, on a broom. We handled it, and I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Amelda. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Interesting. Who's this last guy? Ominous. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. This guy blind. I'd much rather That's have arrived curious. on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Interesting. So far, the three characters I've met. Not sure. None of them are that interesting. Intriguing. I'd like. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? 
It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something. as a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Okay. I'm just, just looking at the graphics and my character. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that? Revelio. And see what details the field guide can provide. This statue de uh, depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to the island in Great Britain, which usually takes the form of long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is a Loch Ness monster in Scotland. If this unlocks the field guide challenge, your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points for XP. This is your visiting level, XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Okay, so this is like skill tree. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress, select the challenges menu to continue. Okay. Kinda wanna go to gear, look at some of my pre-order bonuses. So... Collecting your first guide page unlocked the new challenge category. New challenges you unlock appear through your adventure. Appear here, select the field guide pages to continue. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete, form appearances to, to critical upgrades. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Let me look at gear, see what I have. Traditional skilled robe. And I'll stick to the robe. Can I wear any of this yet? Nope. Right, for that. Stick with that. Handwear. Gloves. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear some gloves. Facewear. No, no, no. I don't want facewear. Nope. Headwear. Nope. No, thank you. Inventory. Best items, notes, resources, beasts, collections. Value pages. What's this one? 
Okay, is this the Kelpie statue? Challenges! So I just unlocked the glasses. Map. Let's see the map. Zim and zim out. So I can't go that far out. Is this a map of the castle? Is this how you change the time of the day? I just click on these flags and it just gets dark. I'm back to that uh, too early. I was on map. Let me go to quests. Let's see, Professor Weasley said she has more to show me. I should follow her to find out what she has in mind. Okay, settings, yeah, settings are settings. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I thought I could open that chest. Wait, what? I thought you meant to say the password to open the door. Alright. People are coming from the inside. What's this? Okay. Also, I could set four spells as shortcuts here, I think. So R to triangle, R to circle, R to X, and R to square. I only have the one available here. There it is. Avada Kedavra. Kills enemies instantly. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, discover the flu flames, fast travel. Yeah, I was thinking fast travel essentially. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Hogwarts is divided into me two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Greek Hall. What's on the right side then? Okay. Grand staircase region to continue. In this view you can see the flu, flu, flu flames available in the region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grey flame flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. So. The right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Okay. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall full flames for you. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall through frames with square. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from central hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today.
And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Yes, I would like an owl or something. Okay, can you tell me about charms class? What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. I know these two questions. Like, obviously I'm familiar with Harry Potter, I know what they are. But, I, like, this character, he's new, so of course he would ask this. But I think these questions are here for people who have never uh, read the books or watched the films. So they're not used to Harry Potter, so they just ask these questions. Uh, also, this question is, oh, I know what Hogsmeade is, so I'll ask you that. You mentioned so. Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Yeah, so those, those questions essentially are about new people to the Harry Potter universe. But it kind of makes sense, as in, like, this character's new here, who I'm playing as, so you would ask these questions. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Even though I already to know absorb on your first day, the answers. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'll just tell her that there is in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil. I was Professor just about to say Fig. that. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? 
She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may <coughs> feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Looks like we'll be sneaking out sometimes and try to help this professor with a goblin problem. You can track available quests from the map. Okay. This represents main quests, completing main quests for further story, unlock new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and other, other require level requ requirements. In these cases, you will need to be required need to be the required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as a quest to reward. Track a quest with X. Okay, so charms class. Let me go with. I'll go with Charms because I want to run Accio. So I'll go there first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Interesting, so Ollivander was in Hogsmeade before he went to Diagon Alley. Cast Charmed Compass, the, comp the Charmed Compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Go to Charms class, the field guide map shows Professor Ronan's class in the Astronomy Man, the castle is enormous. I may need to use the charm compass in the field guide to help me find a way. Okay. Let's see. Oh. First ghost sighting. Come back, ghost. Where are you? Protego! It's kind of cool how you can just um, do spells and just walking around. Let's see, who's this? No. I don't know. I'm going to try to aim another spell at someone. Oh, they, they just flinch. They don't like uh, protect themselves. Imagine they like protected themselves and uh, attacked you back. At least drop one book. I'm attacking you. Let's go to class. Oh, so I can aim. Oh, that's much easier. Usually it's just R2 to press for the spell. So I could aim and do that. That's good.
What's going on here? Do you even comprehend how expensive? Oh, he just got a letter, probably from his parent. What's going on down here? Oh, ghosts. Let's see. Oh, they just disappeared. What's this tea? Drink some tea. What are you up to oh. now? I don't want to go to Dark Arts yet. I want to first go to Charms. Protego. Lumos. I don't need Lumos, but. Let's go to Charms. Oh wait, there's a cat here. Does this cat turn into a person? Oh. Is this some spy? Or is it someone's lost pet? It's Fluffy! Fluffy! Oh, toilets? Hmm. Wait, I just flushed the toilets. Hmm. Hmm. Was that all you could do in the toilets? Just go and flush toilets? On another adventure, are we? Oh, so it's the portrait that's talking to me. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I thought it was a student who said that. <laughs> Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. He's another cat. The same cat as before. Well, the same pattern and colour. Happens, well, I, I'm gonna try to do on the cat. Let me save it first, just in case something happens. Oh, <laughs> cat doesn't run off. Um, not chasing cats. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Let's go to class. Okay, charms class begin. Learn Akio. an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? 
Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay, it's the same as before. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. The summoning charm, now, Akio think pulls this like to the house closest to the if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, the same you are summoning to cast them Akio toward and you. Pull a the trick is to put the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. Here. Very good. Happens to the best of us. Okay. Excellent. Good. Don't lose your composure. Splendid. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Interesting. Let us see this. Ha <laughs> ha 
Action. Not to worry. Here we go. I remember it's press square again. I don't actually know how this works. There we go. Accio. Oh, I just let it go. Yeah, I understand how it works now. Oh well. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay, yes, I got another turn. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Oh, let it go. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Oh, fellow. I let that go too early. Oh well. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I kind of just want to do that all again because I never understood the controls but I guess there's no rewinding. Thank you but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one.
You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. A word, if you would. Protego! If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Okay. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Can't go into his office. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as a black flag, a flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP, but in hard ones to main story. So what's this? What quest is this? Let me do. I thought about transferring to both buttons just to get away from Professor Black. Is this? Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. I think I'm gonna go to the side quest. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Protego!
So, let's do this side quest. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos! Do come and find me if you stun me. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. That's a greenhouse. Let's see if I could try to find this. He said I had a complexion like his <laughs> Any of you know where I can find some leaping toadstools? I can't memorize ten. Why won't you just let us use Zoom? What's the point of even learning? Oh, secret passage. Skill clock. I enjoy the noise. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Okay. Rebellion. Okay. The statue with an in, 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 ingratiating grand depicts uh, the medieval wizard Gregory de Samrami, uh, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous uh, un unction. A potion that makes a drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Okay. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Interesting. No. Let's go back to the map. And let's go to this one. Do another side quest. See what happens. Oh dear. Is everything alright? Oh 
hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay. So, I need to go to the library. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Well, that's good, I learned Akio. So... Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Go up the staircase. Is there any flying books, guys? Let's see. There's one on that side, there's one here. I think I picked something else up there to me. Let's see. Now there's one here on this side. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Try what? Where did that? This vanish. Was there? Or maybe higher up. Let's see. Back downstairs. Go in here. This is probably a restricted section. Where am I supposed to get in here? 
Professor Black may I suggest a ban on magic in the library. Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section and Cressida Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal arena and wish to practice her latest incantations at his most disruptive. One might consider Pew's tame by comparison to such, such anti- anti- antics. Did you speak for a second? Some man you get into the restricted section. There's one up there. Action. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day, dies until Garrus splashed whatever ridiculous con- 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 concoction he was creating all over my pre- perfectly stirred lace wearing files. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace, thinks he knows everything there is to know, but portions of his disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. It's actually convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. I brought Smokies again to eat for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although I still prefer meat pie. Locked. How do I get into the restricted section? Me. Akio. The dad is... No, 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 exiting. I need to go in the library. Let's see if the book appears again. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I think I should go with the reward. <laughs> Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. You're not at all who I thought you to be. Mm, I'm only joking, no. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Okay. Should never have trusted them. Relationship quests. Accio. Oh, that's what I picked up in the library. I picked up one of those uh, gate pages. Let's see if there's anything else happening in the map. There's dark hearts.
There's a star cuts that's what I need to do now. I'm not gonna fast travel, I'm just gonna find my way there. Somehow, hopefully I find my way there. Yes. That's the last time I ever pushed. Two seconds, let me just see if Okay, let's begin this quest. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay, this again. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. 
Remember. Good. Now, the basics. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This time I never read the bottom part, because last time I read the bottom part, and I was listening to the professor, uh, I never understood the controls for the, the Accio game, so this time I just never read that part out. Protego! Protego? That complicates it. This can't be your first one. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. <laughs> I do enjoy a lot of your Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, At least I did good in that class. For one day. Class is dismissed. I think uh, every class where you come out on top, you just get points. So I probably would have got Reveal. points. Action. There we go. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against dark arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecat after she single handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Orchard Raid of 1878. I'd hate to face Professor Hecat in a duel. That may happen later on in the game. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Okay. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Right. Nice work. I guess I have to continue. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling Room of requirement. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. 
Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Probably gonna be the remote time. requirement. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Remote requirement. Let's see if there's any more side quests. Yep, let's do a side quest. So that is the side quest. Okay. I thought that was, uh, that was going to be the main quest. But I'm not going to fast travel. I'm going to find my own way. Or at least try to. Lesson dire straits is possibly best to avoid this particular toilet as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite pranking spots. Up, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. We. I'll get you for this. Hey, you left your books. Get your books. Okay. You could get your books. Can I not pick up these books and give it to him? Oh well. Not that much freedom. Ooh, Chamber of Secrets. More flushing toilets. Wow, what's going on in here? Someone's eating and reading in here? Whole cake? Not even eaten. Cannot press square to take a slice. Imagine if there's a trophy to flush all toilets in the school. There's a cleaner trophy. Revelio. Akion. Revelio. Akion. This statue de uh, depicts the le wizard Lachlan the Lanky, a tall slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself, but precisely, precisely no one knows. Okay. I want to get more healing potions. Rebellion. Map of Argolish. Uh, this map depicts. Argyllshire, a region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides, Nitopomo, the Hebridean Black Dragon. Okay, so I only got one more page left to find. Because I found seven out of eight. Eyes on me, musicians. What's this? Whoa. What happened there? Eh? 
interesting. Here's another cat. I won't. <laughs> I won't start doing spells in this one. Here's a chest. Another flu flame. Uh, I better go back before these. Rebellion. Value. Okay. Honey Jig's Passageway. Head in mind the statue of a one night which is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honey Jig's. It will only be assessed, uh, assessed using a particular charm. I got all eight. Now let's go. Let's go try to be. Oh, he's another ghost. Oh yeah, I need to go down the stairs. I forgot what we had came. Come students, listen to the art of your fight. Listen your ears. Here we go. Through here. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Akio. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Okay. Got this one. What are you up to Flip now? Flame. Sebastian. Just wanna get here. What's through here? Nope. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Probably have to build a good relationship with someone else who could duel and then bring them along. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Okay, sure thing, pal. Big three yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Le Le Levesio. Levioso, not Levesio. Target lock card three lets you track enemies using you know, to change targets on locked, okay. Go! 
Pressing the wrong button. I was pressing R1, I, I forgot it was R2. Anyway, we bet them. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Cross Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Yes, more money. I might not be good at a sport thing with Akio, but I'm certainly good at jewels. Well, if I remember what button to press. Lock. Can't go through here. I thought we were doing this in the room of requirement. I guess they got this area picked out. Talk to Sebastian. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Okay, you sure? Because that other guy said, next time I won't be able to partner up with you. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. Okay. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Rebellion. So main quest is Weasley after class. Professor Weasley wants to see me in a classroom which is off the transfer trans Figuration courtyard located between the library annex and the astronomy wing. Hopefully she has a word on replacing my lost supplies. Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade and then hopefully a broom or a mount. Take a to allow our really wanna fly around. I don't care a broom or mount. This one test it. There's another cat. Might might go back to Gryffindor. Yeah. Common room and just eat apples. No, well, there goes the stairs and here come the stairs. Okay, good. Rebellion. I needed this. Let me go. Akio. On another adventure, are we? Oh, Ravenclaw Tower. Interesting. Yep, this is the Ravenclaw common room. I can't go in there because I'm a part of Slytherin. Can you like drink Polyge's potion and disguise as someone from Ravenclaw and go inside? Be cool if you could do that. There's a mass excavation. Mass excavation. Mass equation. Excavation. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Not sure about that. Always said that travel.
I'm just gonna leave it at a question mark because I don't know what that does. Oh yeah, now I understand. It's some math equation. Yeah, you just go around and then calculate and match the symbols. I'll do that later. Can't bother right now. Just want to go as high as I can. Look at this guy. Okay. Let me Rebellion. Center armor. This unique set of armor was created as a, a misguided peace offering to center leader. To a center leader, the gift was burned, and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The arrow itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. Close to level five. Stinger drilling gloves, interesting. Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Mirabel Garlic. From Mandrix to Mistletoe and Bobbitubers. The bouncing bulbs, her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. I wonder if you could real end up here. Oh look. Quidditch equipment. How nice to see you, my young friend. Yes, okay. Same media. Rebellion. House Elf Armour. This set of armour for House Elf is rumoured to have been made by a cruel wizard who, once, who wanted his elf to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realise the armour could in fact be considered clothing. The moment the elf donned it, he disappeared right out of it, never to be seen again. Yeah. Got free of his master. The elf was freed of his master. Ceramic mask. Ceramic, ceramic mask. I want to go back down. No mass equation today. Oh, interesting, you can go down the stairs while they're still appearing. What are you up to now? Not that one again. Let's go down. I need to get that piece of paper. Yes, there we go. Revelio. More mass puzzle. Let's just see what this does. No, don't bother with mass puzzle. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? We already did this. Why are you mentioning it again? Revelio. 
Oh, you did the side quest. Oh, hello. Don't know why the common rooms all have people. Ooh, potions class. There's any here. Who's this? Professor of potions, clearly. Probably. Oh, I just broke something. Oh well. Yep, let's make some more stuff. Oh, that just went through him. Ah, he just attacked me. Memorandum Date 31st October 1875 from Auror Office Subject Borgen and Burks Borgen and Burks has an increased amount of activity outside ordinary shop hours particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance Given what we know of the shop's repetition, we are adding more orders to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Interesting. Revelio. I wish Professor Garlic would teach you. I already been this way. Just explore the castle and find whatever I can find until I reach the no. main quest or the side mission. Oh, this door finally opened. Here we go. Quest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. 
Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. So I may have been wrong. Ollivander was not in Hogsmeade before going to Diagon Alley. There may have been different branches of Ollivander once, but he himself uh, remains at Diagon Alley branch. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Definitely Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I think because I've um, lost in that class, you have to do extra work and your host lose points. Whereas if you went in the class and come out on top, your host gets points and you don't have to do extra work. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts Professor that when completed reward you with new spells. The reward of completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Repair, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments at the progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Okay. Uh, let me just do a value, a bunch of value here. See if there's any hidden letters you got. What's this? Yes, I'll take that cloak. Partial transfiguration. This partially transfigured teacup likely the soon to be reverse error of a second year serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of trans transfiguration. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I came to see. Ah, there you are. Let's save. Do we save game? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? 
No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, collect the flying page near the broken statue, collect the flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. So, let's find the flying page. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Yeah, I went with Sebastian to Hogsmeade because. The flying page must be around here somewhere. And Accio. Bring it. I went with him so I could. Build a relationship with the ship with him and then do jewels and stuff. Let me get this one. Okay, Wyvern Fountain. The Fountain in the Transf Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a Wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather despite the rumors to the contrary. Possible started by Sir Cadogan. This is the most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y. Slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Let me see if I can get to level 6 before going to Hogsmeade. Find something around here. Rebellion. Okay, here we go. Lumos. Okay. Revelio. It's probably more lower, but I'm just going up to see what's around here. What's in here? Ooh. Classroom. That would be an interesting class. This is locked. Let's try to find this lion. What's that lion? I think it's a lion. I hadn't met any of No, it's like an Egyptian. And found out we were He's a ghost. I think it's more down. Yes, I think. Revelio. Sleeping Dragon Statue, the Hogwarts motto Draco Dormans Nanquim. Tedalentin this means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and whenever we can it may be tickled. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. Okay, nearly level six. Ooh. Dungeon or something as well. Maybe. Yes, a chest. Asylum mask. Ooh. Looks like Bane. That looks like a Bane mask. From the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, what's going on in here? This looks like something later on where you can jail a troll or something. Yeah, you might jail a troll in here. A mini boss slash boss area. Oh, there's another page. Yes, level six, please. How oh, close? Nearly level six. Revelio.
Revelio. Here we go, level six. Urn of Ashes. This particular urn is rumored to have once born the Inception Pioneer and Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Horn Tail. Yes, level six. Now let's go. Oops. Got stuck in a corner. Perhaps I'll come back to this. Oh, yeah, just me. Quest may have, may have level two requirements, yeah. I, find this location. I may have to, yeah, I have to learn the piero. Which is fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there's another. Or, oh, yeah, I've already been in this. I thought it was a different secret passage. What have you been here? If you lean forward. Trying to find this line, line or Egyptian. Rebellion. Let me also. <laughs> I got all eight of those now. I've nearly got all fifteen of them. Nice. Revelio. I thought that grass grew. <laughs> really want to go to Hogsmeade. I've always said that travel. Already been here. What's in here? Locked. Let's go. Let's just get on with this quest. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky, but let's try not to get caught by the red. Oh, I was about to press X there. The mending charm of Pedro can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's okay. it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, up here. Repairer. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? Okay, so I got Loomis, Rapero, Accio, and Livios. My cousin was transfigured off on another adventure, are we? Let's see what else is here to do. Oh, there's a side quest. I need to do a side quest before I go. Side quest is. Okay. One side quest and then Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Well, lucky for you. Here's a new student. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason.
Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry to hear that. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Thank you. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'll play if you give me the words. Wait, can I attack these? Probably discover that later on. Wow, there's so much of these to paint. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. How do gobstones look like? High places, so up there. Gobstone, 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 where are you, gobstone? Up on the tree? No. Maybe on a statue. Revelio. Can I Revelio or gobstone? Oh, there it is. Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Okay, so there's one there. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Revelio! Am I wearing long socks, that's say? Yeah. On my trousers? I think I'm wearing long socks to see my trousers. I want to change my gear now. Doesn't look that good. Skills. Medieval Nye. Under Professor Black's direction is my honor as Deputy Headmistress to offer you the position of devi deviation divination. Professor. Uh, all good school of Ashcraft University, we are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. So this is Onai's 
mum or something aunt mum parent relative definitely yes give me money no high places somewhere in here is a cobblestone and i think i found it No gobblestone, gobblestone. Where are you, stone? Where are you? 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 Oh, the very old. Flamstray model. This standing model of ha uh, hand is um, demarcated to help. Students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which the, this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Only got one model, one of those left now. Revelio. Revelio stone. Where's the stone? It must be somewhere here. Akio, Akio, Akio. Let's spin, 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 spin. Maybe if I go down the ladder, maybe down. Let's see. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, it's right here. No wonder. How nice to see you, my young friend. Ooh. Interesting. I must be on one of these panels. There we go. And it's telling me to go this way now. Then I go, then I go, then I go. Up I go this way. Oh, painting. Lumos. That should be somewhere close in here. Cause that looks like it's in a dark room. So let's see if I could find this first. Let's find you. I bet if you can find high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There we go. Find one of your stones. Another mass puzzle again. This is even close common room. Okay, come on, mystery stairs. I wanna go up, not down, up.
so way more up. So this way. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Gobbler of Fire Casket. The Gobbler of Fire rests within this ancient jewel and encrusted a chest. Uh, Gobbler has served as a means of selecting champions of the title of the tournament since the uh, contest establishment in the late 13th century. Yes, I got 15 at 15. <coughs> Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I'm gonna first travel this once. Okay, so... Fast travel, save some time. Gonna keep fast travel to a minimum. Because then I could just go explore. Only do fast travel when really necessary. Well, I wasn't even right next to her, to be honest. Stones. I just jump. Uh. What are you up to now? I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Well, some interesting choices. No, I think I'll keep them. <laughs> nah, I'll return them. Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Oh, looks like level seven nearly. Any more, anything else to do? I think that's it. That's just the flu flames, flu flames, flu flames, flu flames, flu flames, flu flames. Oh, there's one in the boathouse. Wait, there's one and uh, north exit. Now it's just Hogsmeade and that's us. Ancient magic throw and ancient magic. Interesting. 
But we're gonna spend some more time in Hogsmeade. It's not on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. Exploding. Hopefully I get some. Something to fly when I go in Hogsmeade. This game is actually growing on me now. Well, fancy meeting. Took some getting used to, but this is actually quite fun. Let me save settings. Save game. Okay. Let's go, talks me. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Revelio. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. I'm already getting them. Any prompt for anything, just pick up. Don't, please don't get me out. Um, too far away from thing. I can't, yeah, of course the game would say that to me. Oh, it's kind of annoying. Too far away from Sebastian. Too far away from Beasley. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? I want a hippogriff. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead.
Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Our neighbor at home knows someone from the I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. the least bit amusing. I've been battling this thing twice now, boy. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Mm. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! This year, uh, Sagar. You might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys? I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Cool. Leap over. His sister's probably gonna be Rebellion. revealed to be one of the bad guys in the game. <laughs> Hogsmeade, the only all visiting village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favourite haunt of Hogwarts students, not Hogsmeade students. That gives an up for centuries. Give me that paper, give me that paper. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? And the challenges. Let me see what challenges I have uh, unlocked. Let's see. Okay, so I still need to unlock those. Now I've got them. Got the glasses. Is that? I've got the hat. I've got those gloves. Got those glasses. Got those glasses. Can get that. Oh, do you want to climb it? There it is. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, I but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Oh yeah, I'll definitely have fun. Housing Village is brimming with different sites, shops and other points of interest that you can navigate using a field guides map. Okay. Alright. The hair cup. Potions. All the vendors. Sporting needs. Broomsticks. Can't go straight to the broomsticks. Please, thank you. I'll do right here. Give me a broomstick, please. I would love a broomstick. 
some quests open it in an open set of a personal report on the map to track your own locations. Let's eat a cupcake. Want a muffin? Excuse me, we had a bit of mistakes. Revelio. Yes, give me the money. A scar. Let me change. Forgot to change. Okay. This, 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 this one. This, this one. Defense 0, Defense 3, Defense 5. Go stick with that because I got higher defense. Neckwear, no. Probably wear neckwear in winter. Handwear, yeah. These gloves, Dinger Dueling gloves. Face wear. Oh, the Bane mask. We got the Bane mask, guys. No, I don't want glasses. So the gloves, that clock, or oh, flying mints, brim. Uh, probably gonna get a wand handle next. Let's see. Got some nice gloves. Came from Brims. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Okay, so we don't want to go first. I will leave all the vendors till the end. Let's go to potions first. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Revelio. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where propri proprietor Paddy Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. 
Here's a chest. Cool. A top hat. Mad hatter. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Let's play a potion that causes a rocky film to fill upon the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Recipe for healing potion, yes, please. Okay, fine. I'll take you Feel free well. to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Recipe for potion that reduces the drink of spell kill downs. This way for a powerful damage potion. This way for a potion that makes the drinker practically invisible. This way for a potion that increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Maybe this could be useful for like sneaking around into a restricted section. If that's possible. And, uh, no, I'll just save my money. Reduces the drinker's spell contents. I'm causing enemies to make the same and the drinker's then imperceptible. For a limited amount of time, I'll add the healing in the stores of Battle King Cassel. No, that's fine. I'll save my money for now. Get at least 1000 plus before I buy a recipe or potions. Okay, so magic neat. That's like the wheat. There we go. I'm already going in that direction. Oh, give me that piece of paper, give me that piece of paper. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. <clears throat> okay, tomes and scrolls. What's 
this. Let me go this way actually. Use the way value. Revelio. Yes. Can't go wrong with more money. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Okay, so we got the beast feeders, toy box. I'm not gonna get these yet, cause, I'll, cause I want to save money and then I get that sort of stuff when I get beasts and mints. No, this is Ollivander's left, but before Ollivander's, I want to explore some more. Can I get a brim? Give me a brim. Yes, money. There's Ollivander's. But let's explore some. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. 
but you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it Let's you might be interested see. in? Yeah, okay. Also, you could just change scars and all that anytime you want. Interesting. Uh, I'll just leave it for now. Kind of weird. Like if I have this scar right now and then I just change it to a different scar. It's like, wait, didn't you not have a scar on the eye? How you got a scar on the cheek now? Anything else I could do here? Okay. Rebellion. Action. Scriven shaft cats. These cats seem to stay close to scriven shafts. Quail shop. Perhaps it's the feather cuts that entice them, or perhaps it's a treat stone and often leaves for them. Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequin is favoured by students for drilling practice, the mannequins are glad to serve only as a means to display in the latest wizarding fashion. Okay, if I could get some gear to wear, let's see what's here. Let's talk to the guy. Um, can I talk to you? Fine, let me see what's in here. Are you talking to me? Yeah, of course you can't tell. Look at dirty you are. That looks fine. I'm even having a cup of tea. Come on, can I interact with you? <clears throat> there you are. Huh. Finally. Ooh. 
some gang mask. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Cool, you can go in the water. Just trying to find where yeah, this last page is. Revelio. Let's try and go to this broom shop and see what happens. If I could get a broom right now or not. Not sure if we're going to do Quidditch, but I think Quidditch will happen. Mouse locked. And it's probably going to happen later on. Because Black uh, did say that. This is cancelled this year, so could possibly be year six in this game as well. And you do Kurdish later on, but we'll see. That's where I found that mask. So, yes, is this way I need to go as well? <coughs>
Revelio. You slots are full. <coughs> what did I see? Let's see. Huge lots of fuel, you can sell excess gear, the vendors are getting hogs meat or hamlets. Do the work for that guy? I'm not sure where this last page is. It is. There we go, I found all eight pages. Now we can go to Ollivanders. Ollivander, Ollivanders, there we go. We have got nothing. Okay, that's enough. Let's get on with all the windows. Akio! Let me answer! Akio! What's that? Was that a piece of paper someone's crunched up? Was that just a rock you can destroy? Merlin, blooming idiot. Not again. Okay, here we go. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, you can design your own one. 
nice yeah so this is a definite wonder it's not that he used to be in Hogsmeade before moving to Diagon Alley or there's different branches it's just he's a different Ollivander who's at Hogsmeade so one style okay so that's finalized so one style let's see indeed. warm brown classic grey Warm brown, this color, this color, no. How Classic intriguing. Gray. Light brown. Curious indeed. Spiral. Dark brown, stock, no. How intriguing. Ring Cricket Spiral Curious indeed. Natural Grey How intriguing. indeed yeah no how intriguing indeed how intriguing dragon heart string do you have a unicorn no Dragon Heart Signal serves as core code known for producing powerful magic. The Unicorn serves as a core one known for producing constant magic. The Feather of Phoenix serves as core known and capable of producing a great range of magic. A Dragon Heart String Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Okay, you 10 inches hard. You 10 inches hard. You 10 inches hard. <laughs> Funny how that works out. Okay. I'm gonna go with this. Let's what go. do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. <coughs> More your gear slots.
Nope. No. No handles. Stick with this one. Offense 12. Yes. Let's see it fits. Defense 8. Defense 11. Defense 11. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay. Everything looks fine here. Oh, head over here. Top hat, nope. Okay, so that's that done. Customized inventory. Uh, award for excellence letter from Professor Weasley, Ministry Mem Memorandum. Note to Professor Black. This is the quest required level two for this quest and I'm already level seven. Required level two and repair all I'm level seven. Huh, interesting. Like a motor free. The painting the real image, yeah, okay. Collections, let's see. So this is like everything. I've unlocked. No brims. <coughs> so I left some over here. Hogsmeade. Okay, this is everything I've unlocked. Pages. Now just the challenges. Well, actually, I'm not level 7, I'm level 8. <laughs> Let's go meet Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Here we go. 
Okay, I really need to concentrate on this fight. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We'll wear him down eventually. Akio! Defender! Taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. Start too late. Probably gonna end up killing me. Oh, close, nearly died. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Yep. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer <coughs> Singer. And thank you, again. Repair. Repair. I'll go and see what he wants. So now we've got ancient magic, which is that blue bit at the bottom. Bottom right. Repairer. Lucky they didn't do more damage. One less thing for us to sing to worry about. Rebellion. Wizard Gladrug's Wizard Way. Founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade. 
Glad Rags offers a variety of visiting garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Helen is associate auto devil happily help all those who wander into the shop. Enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Oh, well, finally, I could talk to him. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? <coughs> Yeah, I want new gear. Plenty for your perusal gear. today. Take your time. Fine. I'll take you. Okay. Apparently I need to sell stuff. I not store stuff. I'll kill like a stop preview gear. No. No. Quidditch cape. I'm just going to sell this. Okay. Yes, I already know that. Yes, I've done most of this already. Okay, now I want to buy these gloves. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Nice, Ellie. Let's see. Okay, so there's this one. Traditional.
We have got two of the same ones. So there's this. So you only let 20 gear at one time, I think. I'm gonna try to do Worthy legendary. Items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my gear. shop at your leisure. to save up money but you got to get the gear by yourself maybe I could just sell 101 and just get more money I'll keep being mask I'll keep this mask. Okay, now I'm gonna buy this. This has got gold in it, so I'll buy this as well. I just want to keep the traditional that I could change back to. Okay, charming and elegant. Okay, get rid of the purple one. Put that. But did I not buy the gold one? Let's see. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time.
data is the gold one. Uh, it's a superb, no, extraordinary gear type. It's a superb gear type, that's why. I was like, wait a second, I'll not buy it. Not have any more neck wear. Looking good. Offense 31, defense 11, health 350. Clear this out. Armor troll, the trolls for a backhand club swing pattern attacks will break through common sealed charms. Dodging is the safest defense. Defense will not protect against an angry troll as it would tear up chunks, chunks of the earth and throw them at its targets. After the troll slams its club on the ground with both hands, flipping it upward with flippendo will have a greater leverage than usual. Sending the club into the troll's face for a powerful blow, hitting a troll with his own. Boulder will catch it off guard and make it more vulnerable to follow up attacks. Okay now, let's go. You can listen to our music. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Oh, please tell me we fly out with broomsticks to escape. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Oh, time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever.
seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Can we head back on a boom, please? Rebellion. Three broomsticks. Currently run by Sirona Ryan and allegedly has all the dogs been to sell the three broomsticks as the long standing gathering spot for villagers and Augsburg students who want to enjoy about a beer of fire whiskey. What are the seat on nuts? I thought I was going to talk to that guy. Drink this. Eat some of this. Yep, speaking of Sirona, I know what you all are thinking. It's probably what everyone's thinking. Uh, oh well, it's just what it is. Just walking out bars, so let's just go. I'm certainly glad Sirona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Mr. Let's see if I slide down these stairs again. Oh, mail. Okay. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. We found that green guts. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. We found at green guts. Okay. Seems that's off limits to me. I still slide down. Let's see, see quests. Let's go there. How inconvenient travel was before I
the Dalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Dandelion Surely you've keys. seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. you can help me. A Dedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. <coughs> so. How mm. nice to see you, my young friend. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Okay, so you tame this, I think. Come on, move. I think I need to uh, on the angle first, so the end of the key facing the keyhole, and then
I think I need payment to when that lane decreases. Excellent. Got it. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Got it, done it. Took a while. What I'm are you up to now? Gonna fast travel. Let's fast travel to to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. The ones with the eye? I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. This must be the my word. house chest. I just need to insert the token. Seems I'll need to find <coughs> more house tokens if I'm to open this. 
quite a few by the look of it. Off on another adventure, are we? Same mission as well. <coughs> Sorry, it's got a bit of a cough. Why not? I think it's nice to be able to look back on old. Oi! Can you help me? Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. I kind of remember where that is. First I need to go to the courtyard. Thomas Brown knows more about books than anyone. Well, perhaps not Madame Scribner. So first clue shows a rhinoceros right? skeleton on display. Doesn't I know I must have walked by at least a dozen times now, but I only can remember where it is. Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. <coughs> Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do? Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less cheerful. <coughs> Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education, well... 
Enough about my student days. You are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> uh, try to have a bit of fun today. Huh? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Okay, so we find the rhinoceros. So. Survives the reign of this end master. I think we should have a moon cup. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. <coughs> the stairwell looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now where's the treasure? So yeah, this was that key that came in the way. Go back to the treasure soon. And close.
Gotcha. <coughs> there we go. Back to the painting. Lumos. Let me open. Accio. Revelio. There's probably another perspective of the painting from a different angle somewhere here. Be weak through what? Lumos. There's the stuff he does that one. I could like to retire to small camp. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Repair. Lumos. Look out from a different angle. I if I look at it through here. Lumos. This is Sunset Duena. Revelio. Accio. No, right. Uh -huh. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. I could just have a butter bed in a free bin for it right now. <coughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're Just to follow it back to its cabinet. Square. Inserting mm. it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. <coughs> I see square on the character. I'm tempted to press it. Get a broomstick got a mount soon, please. <coughs> My parents were thrilled to hear that. Made any progress with your trip? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! 
Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Okay, main quest, here we go, and nothing else here, on to the main quest. Whoever decided to make Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say, after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Except that one guard that had red eyes, just like uh, Ranrock's other goblins. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecket know to expect you. What's this scroll thing? Okay, so that is this scroll thing. Ah, 
I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. <coughs> I've already done one crossed ones, don't? Seems crossed Good. ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Yep. She just said. So the professors know students play cross ones. Interesting. Maybe they just allow it because they know it help the students. Is that, is that cake still in that toilet? Let's see. Yep, it's still there. Oh, there's cushions as well. Huh? Another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Three v two. At least I never went solo for this. Victory violet shields with the four spells like the summoning charm, Akio. Target lock lets you name use art. Lose this one. We do it. There goes my wager. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. <coughs> it's cause the purple shields take Akio while the yellow shields take Leviosa. Get confused. Leviosa. Leviosa. 
Nah, keep pressing the wrong button. Care to go again? I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Keep trying to look at this. Care to go again? I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. I'll give it another go. <coughs> Glad to hear it. So close, I took one down. Care to go again? I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Let me 
Labioso. Getting close, I feel like. Care to go again? I'll give it another. There's game. hard mode. Glad to hear it. Come on. Wrong button. That was even a good start. Care to go again? I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. <coughs> Why's it see me too? Should be two v two. Give it another go. Glad to hear it. I need to use the objects. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Let me 
Yes, got them. Pity more people can't watch the duels. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Seems I'm out of the tournament, thanks to you. You could have gone a bit easier on me. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio. Let me answer. Excellent form. Let me also. Good one. Let me also. Keep trying. You'll get it. Levioso! Akio! Nicely done! I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now! Okay. Assignment's all finished. No, I can go back. Let's see if there's any side missions available. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. So, 
Let's learn the spell now. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Okay. You've learned enough spells that you need to cap the centers with spells. Uh, to do this, you need to swap it with different spell, spell menu. Good work. Yes. Okay. To use a spell item, you must first add it to your spell. So, pardon me, excuse me. Sorry. Got a bark in there. Um, first add it to your spell set and let's start it. To use your to use a spell or item, you must first add it to your spell set. That is it you know, hold over is it your lot two and tap the corresponding face button or where you would like to place it, okay? There and you what's this? Okay, those are the four spells I want to stick with for now. Incinerate yourself. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic. Yep. Professor Frank, as my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe, Professor Weasley says that they will need an ex an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I will send the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Venus Nigel Black, headmaster. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. 
I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. <coughs> it would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. As I say, he had five minutes. Maybe he should have just taken uh, me to the restricted section and left me there and went straight to the headmaster's office. Could have done it in five minutes. Especially with uh, fast travel. <laughs> Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. <laughs> it's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Imagine Sebastian has the invisibility cloak. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Oh yeah, I need to move with the left analog stick. I keep forgetting sometimes. Ok 
Okay. Silent as a grave. We I got... shall pretend I cannot see you. I said no. One of the people in the painting. Interesting, we got a sneaky mission in this game. Will that distract them? Is there a timer on the spell? I thought that Brenton would have distracted them. At least brought one towards the fountain, but. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? The key. Here it is. There's one of those keys. This is later. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its colour, I say. I think I should have stayed invisible because she may be able to see us through the bars. So we go down. While undetected, you just basic cast. While undetected to lure the figures and enemies to a desired location, aim melt L2 grants position, spell targeting, and reveals additional spell targets. Ghost, don't let her see you. 
over here. There's the ghost. I was expecting her to turn the corner like that. I was trying to get that wall so she would go to that side. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. At least I never had to do that bit with the librarian. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Just gonna backtrack, see if there's anything else I can interact with here. Nothing else that I could have interacted with. Just in case there's an Easter egg or something.
think now is the best time to get that because we never know when we're going to come back Can later on. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> I clicked the button. Oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repairer! It goes more deeper, deeper, down, down, down. I thought I'd reach the end there. Maybe it's not a book of we're course, looking for. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to it. That's it. Reddish rope, good. That means I don't have to buy it. Where might this lead? Oh. No. Nearly fell off. Uh. Uh. Repair one. Well, one, one, I'm just, one, one of my legs is just hanging off. Leviosa, repair her. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Okay. Oh, well. Rush. Unless I do it while moving. Okay, so I just did it automatically for me. Not surprising. Guards at the ready.
Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating and ancient magic attacks that deal massive damage and break shield charms. Tap L1 R1 when you see the prompt over an enemy's head. Any chests here? Nope. Can I claim this? Nope. Nothing there. What about this side? Nope. Nothing there. Anything in here? Nope. Incendio. I could get to. I don't know if it just glitches or this must have be the to way wait. Forward, but to where? A certain oh. amount of time before I could cross over. about me okay now I understand how that works start moving as soon as you hit the fan oh no more fights incendio let me incendio Incendio. Oh, 
health potions on me. zone guy Fell of all of the age. Oh, there's a book. Oh, there is a book. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but 
It was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we've never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> I did to deserve that. Oh, wow, he actually reacted to that. Nice. Unless he's saying that uh, he deserved detention. Let's see if he reacts to it. I think he was called, uh, talking about detention. I need to go invisible again. Or invisible lake. I thought uh, the librarian left with him. But he's just standing there in the library. Could I at least talk to him? You're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as time. Okay. Oh, yeah, I keep going to the wrong classroom. Can't 
Alright, so just chilling. Revelio. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Vic. A visitor. Well... I'll see what I can find out. You acted too late. Have a visitor Sir, standing right behind. I was able to search the restricted section while Fake. you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. <coughs> what? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I thought the book disappeared. Revelio. How's Scar? Interesting. How did he get the book? I thought the book disappeared. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay, what old map? Let's see. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlet's a small community just at the world. This is the Hamlet Lore Hogsfield. Hamlet's providing new opportunities for renders, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. 
Okay, as you explore your room, Hog can reveal more of the map and revealing new opportunities like harmless dungeons, bandit caps, and bandit camps, and many Professor other locations. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, I gotta save the game. Wow. What was that? What the hell was that? Just chuck water right all at me. Well. Well, I'm going to end it here for today and just save in the bathroom.